Hey everyone, welcome to Scrap and Create. This is Daphne and I'm here to share today my latest album which is eight and a half by eight and a half with a two and a half inch spine and has four pocket pages and it features graphic 45's catch of the day. So on the cover I used a graphic 45 regular tag that I had in in uh, in my stash. I use these throughout the albums and I don't always use an entire package on a project. So I had this one left over so I put it here. This is an ephemera card that's backed with cardstock. Here's a piece of filigree here, here, and then I put a charm right here. This, These are cut aparts. All three of the stamps are cut aparts from the collection pack. This is cut apart from one of the um, 12 by 12 sheets. It just happened to be um, just a little something that I could cut apart something like this um, and I had a blue a blue and a red and I think that worked out pretty well this is a piece of chipboard right here and right here is a cardstock back sticker and that is our cover and then here's my spine which I left very simple I actually wanted to hang some charms here but I couldn't locate my jump rings but I'm gonna still look for them and I'm likely gonna um, add uh, some dangling charms. If you buy the collection from us, we give you a little packet of charms. And there's so many super cute ones, but this one in particular I really love, which is the lighthouse. But there's fish, shells, and anchor, and I really want to feature those on the spine. So I have to dig around and find my jump rings, but I didn't want to wait uh, to show you guys the album. Okay, now on the back side, I created a collage. I, these are cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection pages. This is a chipboard tag. This is a cut apart, and this is a chipboard tag. And I left everything flat um, because this is the back. I didn't want to add any dimension. So this is a nice little cluster. When I was designing the cover, I mentioned that if you like to tie your album clothes, this would be a great place to hide it, underneath this ephemera card and underneath this cluster. Then you don't have to worry about it tugging on your matte paper on the cover. So I think that would look nice. Um, I don't think I, yeah, I do. So another thing you get when you buy the bundle is um, are the ribbons. And I think that would look good. Uh, I also think the blue would look very nice. Okay, let's get started on the inside. Okay, on the inside liner, I've created a deep pocket. It's four inches deep, and I placed the ephemera cards that I didn't use throughout the album um, so that you could use them for journaling. This is a matted ephemera card on this pocket, and inside that, I have a four by six photo mount. And then on the flip side, it's also a pocket, and this is one of the uh, ephemera cards, the flip side of one. Oh! I think it's the flip side of one of the ephemera cards. Okay, so lots of space for photos here. This is a four by six. So you've got plenty of room for photos. And in addition to that, you've got this nice large photo mat that goes into the pocket. And this is seven and three quarters, seven and three quarters by eight, seven and three quarters by eight. And it's in the cut list. So if you click the show more in the description, you're going to see the material list and links and then if you scroll beyond that you're going to have the cut list at the bottom of the cut list you'll find the pocket inserts okay so we've got a nice little pocket here and i didn't do this as part of the tutorial but i do have the measurements for it in the cut list uh, on the right page so this uh, i trimmed it down so that it would fit the small ephemera card perfectly and left this space open for some journaling i think that looks nice this opens to the left, to the right, and then it opens one more time to display all kinds of photo space. I really like this page. I think it's fun. Okay, page three is very simple, um, and I kept it simple on purpose. I wanted to add some embellishment here and then just have room for photos on the inside of the flap as well as the inside of the main page. So it's just a simple single flap, which is kind of rare for me. And another large photo mat, again, this is eight by seven and three quarters. So you've got a lot of photo space there. And then these two are relatively simple too. Um, it really winds up being a single flap, but it's pieced together with three pieces. So you've got the main flap, the ephemera card, and then a mat card. And then underneath that, we've got uh, a static mat mounted directly onto the pocket page. OK, 
Okay, and then I did something very similar on the other side. They're slightly offset on purpose. Um, and I think that turned out really well. I kind of like this. I think it's interesting. And it's very rigid because um, they're so close to each other. There's not a whole lot of room for it to be flimsy. So I think it turned out really well. And then again, this is a static photo mat. Again, a nice large photo mat. And the back sides are black. There is enough paper left over to cover both sides, but I didn't do that. Not for just because of time. Time is always of essence. Okay, this is the same as page three. It's a single flap. Most of the interest comes from the layering and the um, color blocking down on the inside. Okay, page seven. Here we go. We've got another one of these inserts. This is a great location for journaling. And this opens to the right, to the left, and then it opens one more time. So I think these patterns went together very nicely. Pretty happy with the overall page. Looks like I need to get a little glue in here. Um, it's pulling away where the um, magnet was. But I'll add a, a drop of glue and that should solve that. Okay, nice large photo mat. And again, there's definitely enough paper to cover both sides. And then this is page eight. So we've got a mounted postcard here in the pocket. And this is a mounted ephemera card here. And then inside we've got another ephemera card. And this one I decided to flip it over so it's the journaling side and not the image side. Oops. It's a little snug, but it fits nicely. And then we have another flap. So this makes a nice spread too. Okay, and then lastly, we've got the duplicate pocket, just like on the front, and then I've got these leftover ephemera cards and journaling on the back that I stash. A lot of times I don't embellish too much because I really think it's important to figure out where your pictures are going to go first. If you add the embellishments before the pictures, then you're pretty much restricted um, to to the layout. So if you don't add the ephemera or uh, the uh, embellishments until after you've added your photos then you can make sure that all your embellishments actually accent the flat uh the uh, photo so that is it for catch of the day this is a great collection for a fisherman and your family it's kind of masculine and beachy so you could kind of go a couple of different directions with this and if you're a fan of by the sea which was a collection uh Graphic 45 did a while back and then released it as a DCE this last year. You could actually combine these two collections and then pull in some feminine elements also. Or you could make it like a do, -si -do album like I did with um, Sir Vagabond and Lady Vagabond. You could have the Fisherman on one side and then have um, the By the Sea, which is more feminine and has ch features children in it. So you can make it a double book or you can intertwine the papers. The colors match and it looks really good together. So that's it for now. For more information about our shop or to go directly to our shop, scroll down to the description, click show more, and there'll be some links there. Uh, several links directly to the products that are used in this album, but also just a link to our shop. And if you scroll down further, there is the cut list for you. There, the playlist is now available with all the detailed tutorials so you can build one of your own. Thanks for spending some time with us here at Scrap and Create. This is Daphne. Bye-bye for now.